Recently, my bus was late, again. At first, I wanted to use the time being annoyed. But then, I was distracted by two people waiting there. And that's how I became witness to a curious incident. For a suspiciously long time, a young man had been gazing from a distance at a beautiful woman with what can only be described as starry-eyed adulation. But instead of giving him the cold shoulder as etiquette would demand of a woman, she didn't seem at all averse to his advances. In fact, she too was encouraging him with wistful looks. And finally, in best traditional fashion, he went over to her and said, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, and I want to marry you. Instead of dismissing him, flattered though she was, or calling the police, the woman said something like, I've been watching you the whole time, too. My answer is yes. I'm in love with you, and I consent to the marriage. At first, they were astonished by the perfect symmetry of their evolves. In any case, the first reaction was silence. Finally, the man said, And? What now? I don't know, she replied. Everything suddenly seems somehow so futile. Huh? Yes, said the man. The honeymoon is over. We'll never be able to live up to our expectations of each other, she went on. True, said the man. It won't get any better than this. I know. It's only downhill from here, said the woman in a tender, consoling voice. Okay, let's just avoid all the rest, the young man concluded. Yes, I'll always love you, said the woman. And me you, the man answered. And then the bus came, finally. They said their goodbyes. Their embrace was a dangerous move. There was really no need for it anymore. The whole episode rubbed me the wrong way. Why, for example, did she take the bus, but he didn't? Now it suddenly looked as if the two of us men had been left behind together, as if we were waiting together, misplaced and forgotten. I thought their behavior was rather inconsiderate. They could see that I was right there and that I could hear everything they said. I'm all for good entertainment. But who wants to hear pathetic, depressing dialogue? I can listen to sad sacks anywhere. It doesn't have to be at a bus stop, too. I was so disgusted but I completely forgot to get on the bus.
So I walked home.